praise him. Hallelujah. He's so worthy to be praised. Our beautiful God, our creator, our Lord, our savior, our king. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name, right? Lift them, lift, lift the Lord God most high on high today and give him thanks and praise and tell the world about Jesus and what he did for you. How Father God, Yahweh, sent his only begotten son and, re, and redeemed us all through the blood of Christ, man. Redemption, uh, grace at the cross. God's redemption at Christ's expense. Through Jesus, we have grace. Um, we got mercy, you know, uh, through the cross. Uh, just thank you so much. But guys, as I'm uh, in the middle of a bunch of things this morning, the, the, the Holy Spirit, God has, has stopped me and held me up. Stop, hold up <laughs> on this uh, beautiful Wednesday uh, morning. And I hope you're all having a great day out there and uh, whatever you may be going through, just know God is right there with you. Um, if your day ain't going your way, what do we say? Your day ain't going your way. Just pray. Bring God into that moment. By praying, it's like me uh, turning this key to my car and getting it started. Get that victory started right now with a prayer. Um, just a little video update too, guys. I'm uh, getting ready to do a video called Salt of the World, is which we are, right? Like salt. And I love my anchovies, saltier the better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife hates them. Ooh, right? Sardines as well. Very salty, but very good. So, but salt adds flavor. And uh, we are salt to this world. As salt to food makes it taste good, we make this world better. And as it makes food better, it makes the world better. Us, God, you know, using us to do so. So we're like salt to the world as salt is to food to make the food better. We make the world better but only through God working through us. So, um, yeah, it's called the salt of the world. And, um, you know, we need to keep shining. We're in a dark place. The sun might be out. A lot of lights at Walmart, at the post office, et cetera, at the laundromat. But people are in darkness right here in their minds. They're in darkness. Darkness, right? Spiritual darkness. Physical darkness. What do we do? We turn the light on. How do we get our spiritual light on? We turn the light of the world on. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, when you repent, right? You pray to God, and now you invite the Holy Spirit, God, to work through you. Now you're shining. A reflective light um, is what we all are, as Jesus is the light of the world. He lives within us, and his reflective light inside shines out. Um, real quick, a great thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit having his way, hallelujah, is Moses when he came down off Mount Sinai. His face was shoning. The word is shoning, right? Shining, right? Back then, shoning. And people were like, whoa, what's up with Moses? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's really amazing um, how people say to me lots of times is uh, Daryl, brother, man, Daryl, brother, Daryl, whatever, whoever it is, right? Non-believers and believers, I have friends with everybody, um, say, man, the room gets brighter when you come in the room. I'm like, wow. God says, tap, tap, tap. You are the light of the world. The light of the world lives in you. When you walk in the room, it does indeed get brighter because God is shining through us. As Moses' face is shining, guess what? Mine is and yours is as well as believers, Holy Spirit filled, true followers of Jesus Christ, guys. It's amazing. But I hope you check the video out, man. I really enjoyed doing this. I'm living my life. I'm struggling. I'm battling. I'm going through it too, baby. Hallelujah. And I like to fight. Oh, yeah. Satan, you ain't getting me today. And if he does, oh, ah, he might get a shot in here and there, you know, knock my hat sideways. But Jesus will make it straight and fix my hat for me. He will make it right. Hallelujah. Spiritual battle we're in, right? And we just got to call upon the Lord to lend us his strength because He's defeated everything that we're under attack by. Satan, he's been done. It's He's toast, baby. He's done. <laughs> he's done. Put a fork in him, right? Um, so just know, guys, it's a beautiful day. If your day ain't going your way, just pray. But I need you to do this. God is saying he needs you to repent. That bad word, the cigarettes, the drinks, this, that. It's all sin. You're polluting your temple. It's all sin. Gossip is sin. A thought is a sin. If you think a bad thought about a neighbor, this one or that one, or a woman, you know, or a guy, you know, uh, women looking at men, you know, in, in tight jeans and go, ooh, right? And guys doing the same with the women. We got to repent, you know? We're all human beings. We're all going to get caught up in something. We're in this flesh, you know? And our flesh and our thoughts don't really define our heart, but see, God lives within us. So a thought, God's inside of us. He sees what we see. He hears what we hear. Make sure the music and the TV and the conversation you're listening to is good, right? And make sure what you're looking at is good because God is watching what you're watching. He's listening to what you're listening. How is that? Because he lives and dwells inside of us. As believers in Jesus Christ, there's scriptures everywhere that say, 
God lives within us. We are one with God. Keep this in mind as you go about your day. Remember, repent, pray, give your worries and burdens and concerns for you, your family, your community. Give it away now because we don't want we don't want to be um you know they don't it says in scripture you don't light a uh, light and put it under a bushel basket you know to hide the light so our worries and burdens will dim our lights and we want to be brightly shining so we want to give our worries repent first repent first now god's hearing your prayer god turns a deaf ear to sinner's prayer so even as believers we must repent we can't ask god for favors and work things out when we're sinning because by sinning we're inviting demons into our lives and there's no reward the bad feelings we're feeling is the reward for sinning they're bad you feel hopeless you feel doubtful you feel just you know undeserving you feel unloved well because you distance yourself from god when we sin we all do that's why I like trying to stay sinless, which is impossible, but I try so hard. I try so hard and I repent right away though. That's the key. Repentance is a big part of this walk, guys. Repent. Now we're closer to God. He draws nearer to us, right? We draw near to him. He draws near to us, right? He's there. Repent, pray, give him a praise, give him a thanks and a hallelujah and let the Holy Spirit shine through us. Be the light of the world because we need to light up this world. Um, it's so dark with hope, love, and the gospel of Jesus Christ to get people into heaven. All right, guys, I got to go. I got some things to do. Um, we'll be leaving in a few days to go to Minnesota. I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a blast. Wow, hallelujah. God will be going with us, of course. Jesus will be taking the wheel, um, not only physically in the car with a hedge of protection around us, but spiritually as we go to truck stops, to gas stations, to this, to that, stores along the way to the family, God will be with me and he will be witnessing to a lot of people on the way. I'm super excited, super pumped up. Hallelujah. I love letting the Holy Spirit flow through my little community, but to take Jesus on the road trip with us, you know, it's amazing, right? Right. God's coming with us, right? It's going to be exciting, man, you know, and you know, he gives me words to speak. I just don't think, uh, you know, hey, when I show up at Walmart, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. I invite the Lord with me. Holy Spirit, have your way. God, have your way in Walmart. I'm a willing and living sacrifice. Say what you need to be said. Get me to do something if you need it done. Wherever we go, let the Holy Spirit flow. And that's the word for today. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. I love you all. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if, remember, if your day ain't going your way, just pray. But repent first, then pray. Now shine. Hallelujah. See you soon. Hallelujah. <laughs>